Hey Nature Detectives, I'm Conrad. I'm an outdoor educator at Letchworth State Park and today I have a nature mystery for you. I found this beautiful fern-like tree growing in the middle of a meadow here in an open spot under the sun. And I think we can use some nature tools to figure out what kind of tree this is. Just shooting from the hip here, I thought at first that this might be some kind of sumac. But I think looking closer, this tree might have something to hide. The first thing that drew me right to this tree, our first nature clue, are these beautiful leaves. They're fern-like leaves. They're symmetrical on either side, the same exact on either side, right down the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, always even numbers until the end. One little leaf coming out at the end. Symmetrical on either side, one tiny leaf on the end, and that's the same for all these fronds sticking out this way. But sumac has that as well. What about looking more closely at the stem? Right down here, the stem is pretty much smooth. Now, some of you might get hand lenses or microscopes and look at this plant and say, hey, there are some teeny tiny hairs there. But to the naked eye, I'm not seeing any hairs there. If I feel it with my fingers, it feels pretty smooth. There are hairs that are so, so, so tiny we can't see them. The reason that we're spending so much time on this clue is because sumac has lots of fuzzy hairs on it that you can see from a long way away. Even flying down the road in a car, you can see the fuzz on sumac branches and sumac stems right here. So this cannot be sumac. The third nature clue. I smell my fingers after handling this plant. Oh no. It smells exactly like Cheerios. And that's a terrible sign because a plant that has a Cheerio smelling leaves with no visible fuzz on the stem in a fern like frond like pattern is tree of heaven. Tree of Heaven has a nice name, but it's a nasty plant. This is an invasive species. It comes from somewhere other than Eastern North America. It comes from Asia. It spreads across the forest floor and especially jumps out in meadows like this. It jumps out really tall and shades the ground and keeps lots of native species that animals like to eat from growing. They also practice uh, alleopathy. Alleopathy is a scientific name for poisoning the soil and they literally chemically prevent other kinds of plants from growing up next to them. It's good for them, but it's bad for the environment. All the kinds of plants that they're preventing from growing are uh, fruiting plants and host plants for insects and cover plants for birds. These are important plants for our environment. Tree of Heaven isn't eaten by many native species, but it is eaten by another invasive species. The real reason why I'm so troubled to see Tree of Heaven here is because this is the host plant for the spotted lanternfly. The spotted lanternfly, if you haven't heard yet, this is an invasive kind of tree hopper, also from Asia. It lives on Tree of Heaven especially. It doesn't have to live on Tree of Heaven as a baby, but they really, really like to. They drink the sap of the Tree of Heaven with their long, piercing, sucking mouth part like a straw. And once they're strong enough, they shed their skin, come out as an adult, and they fly around as a tree hopper, and they drink the sap or the blood from all different kinds of valuable native trees in New York State. This is like our official New York State tree, the sugar maple, that gives us the maple syrup that's so important to agricultural industries in New York, and especially in Wyoming County, which part of Lexworth State Park is in, which is the number one maple producing county in New York State. You'll notice that these spotted lantern flies will eat from birch trees, which are really great forest succession trees, a pioneer species. You'll notice that they eat from grapevines, which give us not only grapes and raisins, but also wines, a huge industry just to the east of Letcherist State Park in the Finger Lakes region. This is a really kind of a nasty bug, and a lot of uh, institutions and organizations that specialize in managing invasive species have encouraged everyone to look out, especially for spotted lanternfly, and I'll have a picture of it in the description as well, but also keep an eye out for their host plant, the Tree of Heaven, also called Alanthus. As we get deeper and deeper into the fall foliage season, you might also notice that Tree of Heaven tends to turn more yellow 
and sumacs tend to turn red. Now that's not a hard and fast rule. There are lots of different kinds of sumacs that turn different colors, especially as they start to turn, they might look a little yellowy. So be careful at identifying it just based on their fall color, but that is an important note. If you have something that you think might be tree of heaven, keep an eye on it on this time of year. You'll notice that it will turn yellowy green instead of dark, rich red like some sumacs will. If you see Alanthus, Tree of Heaven, in your nature adventures, you can be the eyes and ears for these organizations specializing in invasive species management. You can report sightings of Tree of Heaven to your local Partners for Regional Invasive Species Management, or PRISM for short. And if you see spotted lanternfly, you be sure to report that to the DEC, the Department of Environmental Conservation. If you're from outside New York, check on the status of spotted lanternfly in your state. I know it's known to be in several parts of Pennsylvania, but there might be some places where it hasn't reached yet. In New York State, we know that it's in Staten Island and in New York, and in a very small population was found in Ithaca, New York, but it hasn't been found in Letra State Park and it hasn't been found in Western New York. So you can be the eyes and ears for these agencies and make sure that you can spot it out in the world. If you find Tree of Heaven on your property or on a property where you have permission to remove invasive species, you can go ahead and try to dig this plant out of the ground. I'm not going to break this off today because I don't have a shovel with me to really get after the roots. I don't want to just chop off the head of this plant. Like the Hydra, it'll send up more and more heads after the top is removed. So that won't do it. We have to dig the roots of this plant out and it's really important to prevent it from spreading because as an invasive species doesn't have a lot of natural um, animals that want to eat it, a lot of natural herbivores, so it will spread really rapidly. In fact, if you notice behind it here, it has a little cousin growing in the background right here. So the uh, stewardship staff at Letra State Park are aware of this population. I had to get out and film this before they come and remove these. But if you find some out in the world, you can be a partner for these agencies and you can remove some tree of heaven on your own. Thanks so much for joining me for today's super important nature mystery. If you have any questions about the Tree of Heaven or Alanthus, please put a comment in the comment section below the video. Share this video with your friends to put their nature detective skills to the test. And as always, like Let's Wear State Park's Facebook page and follow us on Instagram to stay tuned for more nature mysteries.